what's up guys it's Mike for sim racing 604 welcome back one final time uh, to Assetto Corsa with this bonus pack look so this is the seventh and final car I've done videos for all the other cars and a couple laps at Monza so we'll do the same thing here with this absolutely beautiful looking 1967 33 Stradale by Alfa Romeo so, uh, really can't give this one enough style points. It is beautiful. It really is just a beautiful car. Nice, smooth lines all throughout. It is compact. It is low. Uh, just fantastically, fantastically styled. I love the looks of this car. Uh, not too dissimilar to the 330p4 by Ferrari. But, um, yeah, either one you can't go wrong looks-wise with. So, again, built in 1967. There was only ever 18 of these things built. And um, at the time, it was the most expensive vehicle available to the public and sold for the equivalent of, I believe it was 17,000 US, which was just completely out of scale. Uh, this is a multi-million dollar vehicle uh, by comparison. Uh, they now sell for, oh, well, they don't sell, but if they did, it's estimated that they'd be somewhere in the $10 million mark. Um, Ten million dollar range that is, and probably worth it. Look at this beautiful, beautiful car. So, um, it, it, one of the most interesting things that I found about this car is that it features a two liter V8. You don't see very many two liter V8s anywhere. That seems like a funny uh, amount of displacement for a V8 engine. But regardless, they pulled it off, and uh, in the 200s, sort of mid 200s for horsepower, and probably perfectly well balanced for the vehicle uh, a lot of thought went into this car and uh, you know the architects designers whatever you want to call them got a hold of it and made it absolutely gorgeous and it should be fun to take out onto the track let's take a quick look inside this thing oh my goodness look at the way those doors open wow So looking at this interior here, you guys know I'm a sucker for that tri-spoke wheel. Uh, just very simple, simple, um, you know, race car switches down there on the center console. Uh, five, is it a five-speed? Actually, I don't know what how many gears this transmission has, but uh, simple stick shift down there, three pedals. Not a lot of frills in this interior, but what more could you need when the exterior looks like this? So without further ado, let's get out there on the track. Let's test the 1967 Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale. All right, guys, so here we are on board. Uh, at Monza in the 33 Stradale and I will start off with an apology. I am still working through getting a USB splitter so I do not have a stick shift so unfortunately I'm going to have to do this with paddles. I know it's a disgrace but uh, we do what we can. Love the looks of this car. Very very simple. Uh, 1967 there was a lot less going on in cars. Just some simple gauges on the dash there and uh, again those uh, performance car race car switches on the dash you see the old school cigarette lighter we don't see a lot of those in North America anymore and just beautiful so off we go again I would be stick shifting if I could So my last laps in Assetto Corsa were in the Pagani Waira BC, so this will obviously be a very, very different experience. And one of my first priorities once I get my USB situation sorted will be to drive this thing properly. Not well, but with a stick shift at least. Give myself a nice amount of time here to get slowed down. A bit jumpy under braking. screaming as we accelerate out of these corners. So much like the 330 P4, 
It's an old car with kind of modern feeling handling. It feels very, very sharp. And I'm certainly not doing this drive justice. Again, I apologize, guys. I should have a clutch going in a stick shift. But alas. You might see another video from me once we get this sorted. Alright, feeling reasonably stuck in here already with this car. So we'll go for broke here. See if we can come down kind of in the mid twos. Feeling a good amount of traction through here. Just breaking 200 kilometers an hour. I love the scream of that engine. Wow. Sounds amazing. Again, that 2 liter V8. Keep it in third this time. Doesn't think I went down one too many last time. Back end tried to go out, but it did not. This thing performed so phenomenal for the time. Again, I'm jumping straight from the Wyra BC into this. So when we talk about, you know, kind of extreme limited number of performance cars, a lot has happened in those 50 years. But uh, overall, very, very beast. Like, I'm going to do one more lap. I'm loving this experience. Last one was a 217. I don't think I have a 215 in me at this point, but we'll try. Again, presumably it would be an advantage. Whoops. Presumably it'd be an advantage to have paddle shifters in this car, so I will not take this these times seriously. So well balanced, this thing. Just a beauty to drive. And the final chicane here.
Getting some hints of wheel spin there, nothing too, too serious. Probably a little bit early on the brakes there. And a little bit late on the accelerator, but that's okay. Not going for any world record, just trying to get comfortable with the car. And we will cross the finish line with a 217.5. So, again, we're talking about close to, uh, you know, modern performance numbers in a car that is 50 years old. Absolutely beautiful. What a drive. Uh, the 330, excuse me, the 33 Stradale uh, by Alfa Romeo. Great car. Looking forward to uh, getting my steer, stick shift back hooked up and give this its proper due. Thank you guys so much for watching these four videos. Really appreciate your time. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. We'll expand more into uh, the various cars and try them at different tracks. Thanks, guys. Hit subscribe and uh, have a great day.